Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start our program. Today, we'll celebrate a milestone achievement of one of our project, SM Sourcing, achieving commandable lead platinum certificate with 106 points. Yeah. With 106 points, SM Sourcing became the best green building in the world in all categories, in all versions, in all commercial projects except homes. So we are proud Bangladeshi that Bangladesh now has the highest rated green building in the world, not just on the garment sector. So we'll do this today, uh, this uh, ceremony. Before we start actual uh, program, I, will, I prepared a small presentation to inform you about SM sourcing and the process and the achievement that we have. So it will take a few minutes for, for me to present, especially we have uh, a good number of journalists with us uh, who can propagate this information to others. And that is very important to understand the green building, how that create profit for the company, not just the certificate. Okay. So truly, SM sourcing is a green benchmark. This is the project. It looks like a resort or somebody's like vacation home. Uh, thanks to SM sourcing team, uh, Shokti Bhai and his team to create such a pleasant atmosphere for the employees who work there. And I visited this project after all this happened, and I see the happy faces of the employee when they come to work. And we did a few things. I'm going there. So, and in my presentation, you will see what we did for them. Okay. And as you see, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Ananta Hamme. I am the lead consultant for the project and my company is 360 Total Solution Limited. And with us, we have an international expert support from Green Sketch Consultant Chennai. And we together uh, complete this project. Uh, I'm a UGVC faculty, an AP in five categories, and a silver member of United States Green Building Council. So Bangladesh now is the home of the best UGVC lead green building in the world. Uh, we got 106 points and again I say it is the best in all categories, in all versions, in all times. This is the point system. So we got 15 points out of location, 15 of 15. In sustainable site we got 10 out of 10. In water we lost 3 points, uh, 9 out of 12. In energy atmosphere, we lost one point, 37 out of 38. Material and resource, we got eight of eight. Indoor environment quality, we got 17 of 17. Innovation, six of six. And regional priority, four of four. Meaning we lost only four points. But we really, really did not uh, lose it because those four points is not applicable to this project. Three point was related to cooling tower. Okay, so this project do not have a cooling tower. And one point we lost in energy that is called demand response program, which is supposed to be a program by government or DESCO to maintain the energy time, shifting time. Uh, if, we, if there's a program available with uh, uh, DESCO or uh, REB, and we participate into that program, then we get one point. But in Bangladesh, no such a program is available. Meaning, the 106 point that available to this project, they got 100%. Congratulations. That's a huge. Okay. I'm not going to read it. 
I have a, uh, the package that I give it to you. It has those numbers. What is significant achievement has in this all this category? The lead is not just energy. It covers everything related to the building. It covers energy. It covers site. It covers location. It covers water, materials, indoor air quality, and innovation and community. So it has a array of credits related to the building, not just the building. That's why I always say the LEED is the most comprehensive sustainability checklist that you can follow, most. And you know that LEED has been evolving for last 30 years. This is the second oldest green building rating system after Priam. And till today, we evolve few times. Now version 4 and 4.1 is running and 5 is coming, meaning the lead evolved with the times. It, it incorporated what is need to be done. You'll see in my presentation, the word that we hear today is called building decarbonization. Okay, you will hear a little bit more on that when I come to that place. So it's a journey. I'm just going to make a presentation how this journey started, how it's uh, evolved, and what is achieved, and so on. Let's talk about SM sourcing a little bit. SM sourcing, a Bangladesh-based, 100% export-oriented garments manufacturer, crowned as the world top UGBC platinum rated green building factory, achieving a striking score of 106 out of possible 110. Situated in Gajipur, SM sourcing was established in 2013 with a vision to contribute towards the growth of Bangladesh as the second largest textile industry in the world. Under the leadership of Mirja Shams Mahmud Shakti, CEO of SM sourcing, its commitment to environmental sustainability is unprecedented. I just want to say here, uh, every time I talk to him about the project, he said one thing, I want to buy, do whatever it takes. I am with you. And thank you for that. With that support, I could not get it done. Mirja Sams Mahmud Shakti stated his pride in elevating Bangladesh position on the global stage. He said, among the many sustainability initiatives, we focused on the renewed uh, rainwater storing system under the garden on the factory premises and its diversified UGS in the factory. Also, we have a rooftop solar power system and you will see what else we did in this project. We started with 360 TSL in this very room a while ago. It's a signing ceremony that we have. This is a slide that I kept it here for you to understand the process of existing building certification. Uh, this presentation is available to you uh, in a uh, PDF format so you can get it. And there's a printed version in your package also. So in an existing building category, I just summarize for you to understand, we have to do a feasibility study. We have to do ASHRAE level one energy assessment walkthrough. We have to do ASHRAE level two energy audit to find out the opportunity available in the project to improve, right? Because we cannot change the design drawing. It's all related to operation and maintenance. It's called existing building operation maintenance rating system. So we have to start with the audit, right? In new building, we start with the design phase. So it's a little bit different. So we did those for this project and then we find out all the things available can be improved the project and then create a implementation plan for each of the credit that what need to be done, how need to be done. Not only that, we provided a ROI statement, rate of return on the statement, uh, investment is very important. I can tell you, green building does not cost more. And I think we'll hear from uh, Shakti, he'll say the same thing because he paid the money for it, right? So green building, it will not cost more. Give you an example, if a green building, say existing building cost you uh, say 50 lakh taka uh, to complete the consultant, the audit, the uh, UGVC and all that. 
I can guarantee you this project will save 20 to 30 percent energy. And that will say worth of say 1 lakh taka a month. So that's 12 lakh taka a year. In 3 years 36 lakh taka is back. And then is profit. Right? And this is the minimum I'm talking about. And you will know all this at the very beginning of the project initiation. Because you're going to, after the audit, we can tell you how much is the possibilities. Then you can decide to invest. So that is the way it works. So it will take some time. It's uh, take uh, nine months to 18 months based on the project situation to complete the project. And this is the official letter and official certificate. We'll hand over to uh, project management today. This is few slides I put it together. It's very important that we are talking about decarbonization. It's called building decarbonization. The global warming we have today is because of all the building we have today. Not the new building is coming. We can make new building green, but that will not solve our problem. Because everything that we're running today is created this problem. Right? And we are talking about 5% reduction of carbon emission or carbon footprint. What is carbon footprint? Everything you do, and there is a carbon emission, right? There is an energy use. There is a fossil fuel use. So that converted to a common term called carbon footprint. That could be energy, could be water, could be waste, could be everything, right? So to understand better, as a total, with all different categories you see in the right side, come together as a carbon footprint, right? So in RNG sector, especially few few months ago, UE uh, passed a regulation to reduce their carbon footprint by 5% by 2030. Now, when you pass that regulation, that fall into all EU company, that you have to do 5%. That include all our buyers, most of our buyers, right? Now, if they want to reduce their carbon footprint by 5%, who are they going to go to? Their supply chain. Because their carbon footprint is total supply chain. That includes RNG sector in Bangladesh and around the world. So they will ask us, already they are asking, to reduce carbon footprint a certain number by 2030. How are you going to do it? Lead green building process can do it. Before, we never focus on carbon footprint this way. But this particular project, we converted everything to carbon footprint reduction calculation. And I'm going to show you how significant it is to do lead for reduction of carbon footprint. Okay, it's very important. <clears throat> this project, SM Sourcing, it was, it was, the number was 3,741 ton CO2 equivalent when we started. Now we come down to 1,057 ton CO2 equivalent. That's the savings of 2,684 ton carbon footprint reduction. That is 71%. An existing building can reduce carbon footprint by 71%? Our all problem is solved. Because we are asking for 5%. Right? And if I convert that to plantation of tree, I have to plant 67,000 plant to equivalent to your number. So doing green building, SM sourcing planted or create a benefit of 67,000 plantation. Huge. Yes. Now I just give you some breakdown. In energy, we save uh, 354 ton to 181 ton, and 30 plus 0.5 ton comes from renewable. This project has 50 uh, kilowatt plus renewable energy, and it's, uh, uh, this reduction also, renewable energy add value to that reduction. In water, uh, it saves on rainwater, it does save on water fixtures, we use low flow fixtures, we save water in landscaping. Total, we save 185 kilograms CO2 equivalent. Waste management. We, we, we have 22 ton waste equivalent to CO2. 
come down to four. And that's a reduction of 18 tons of CO2. Just the number, understand the concept. In transportation, we have the highest reduction because our people do not use self-driven car. They use mostly, uh, mm. they walk or they use cycles and other stuff. So that's what the reduction comes, right? We also promote bicycle stand and uh, lifestyle. There we have some savings, around 25 tons. Also, we created a green space. You saw the pictures at the very beginning. We didn't have that before. Uh, I, first, I thought I'm going to put some previous picture that we have. Then I said, no, I don't want to make it negative. I just stay on the what we have. What, that, what is gone, gone. This project was not in a good shape when we started, right? And again, thank to Shakti to say that make it good. And I'll hear that from Uncle a little bit about this project when, when it comes. So this is the carbon footprint situation for this project. So how the lead and carbon footprint synergize together, you can see. So if anybody can do this green building process or lead certification process, their requirements of buyer reduction of carbon footprint is very easy to gain, right? It's right there. And think of that when I talk to a buyer and we told them that we reduce our carbon footprint literally, factually, 71%, I think they will be shocked. And I think Shakti Bhai and your team, we start should telling them that. They don't know. You have to tell them, right? And we have the factual data to support it. And you can make, it, it is verified because it's a lead certified. When it's a third party certified something, it's called verified information. It's not just I am claiming something. It's not I'm claiming something. It's been verified by one of the world's most popular rating system. Right? And with this document, you can go to ISO, you get a better number. You go to HIC, you get 90 plus point. Right there, right? If you need it. I don't know if you need it or not. It's right there. So that's the things. Now just uh, give you a few more slides. <clears throat> so SM sourcing from the very beginning, uh, they're committed uh, to get platinum certificate. That time we didn't know that we we're going to go this higher. But again, uh, because of Shakti, he asked us to go for it. And we did it. <clears throat> the location is very good of this project. It, uh, people do not need uh, personal transportation to get here. They can use mass transit and get there. It is on uh, Dhaka Tangal Highway, very nicely situated. And if you pass by that uh, project now, you can see a very nice entrance, uh, very nice wall with the uh, greeneries. Very simple things we did, but it looks very good. We created a team. We got CA certified energy auditor with us uh, from India called Neen Energy. Then we have Green Sketch with us uh, as a lead, specialty lead submission team. And I have my people and also uh, Mahmoud Rafiq from SM Sourcing lead his people from the project side. SM Sourcing now is a world standard facilities. Every aspect of this project has met or exceeded all world standard related to the building. We don't realize that, but that's a huge. It it is been met with ASHRAE, is met with ESNA, it met with ESTM, it met with uh, AQMD, IGCC, NFPA, everything. So having a building in Bangladesh and you say I'm a world standard building, that's something to be proud of, right? Again, I say this, we did the energy audit, through audit, uh, to find out level one, level two, where the gap is. And then everything we did, we follow the safety standard. We followed all the safety protocol to Im implement our findings. Okay. And SM Sourcing is a very safe uh, place. It's a compliant factory. Thanks to Rafik Bhai again. Uh, he's our compliance uh, chief. Uh, uh, it has all the related fire related uh, sa safety mechanism. Uh, everything is there, right? Whatever they ask. We did everything with care. We care for all the product that we use. We kept them very, stored them properly. Even our waste 
has been protected from the quality and values. Okay. Employee health was very, very important to us. Understand this. This is a specialty project I want to mention here. Uh, it came from uh, Shokti's uh, fathers. And it was a very old shed. Um, Shokti could uh, demolish it and do a multi-stress building because land is so expensive. But he said, no, I want to keep my father's memory every bit of it. So we're just going to retrofit it. Thank you. And he said, don't touch anything, don't break anything. Add anything you want, but don't break anything, right? So what we did, we carefully calculated everything. Because this shed is, was very old, that time Bangladesh or Dhaka was not that hot. But now it is not that high, it's getting very hot for the people. So we have to make it in a way that people can feel comfortable inside, right? So what we did, we changed the under deck insulation. We change the roof sheet. Top of the roof sheet, we put something called SRI paint. We literally change the total ventilation airflow because we cannot give air condition to garments. We cannot survive. So we have to do it airflow. So we change that. We put some ventilation on the rooftop. We put some on this side and that side, right? And we make some window opening, right? The air is flowing all the time. In last summer, when I visited, Temperature was below 30. And daylight is right there. We use the skylight for the daylight. So the entire project can work in, in, a, in a daytime without any kind of lights. Daylight is good enough. Right? So that's what the employee health comes in. And we created that atmosphere for the employee health. And they are very happy right now. And these are the faces. We also created from inside we have created windows so they can see outside. Not only they can see outside, they can see some greeneries outside. So we plant trees in front of the windows so everybody can see something nature. We don't realize how important it is for employee to see nature in their eyes for their productivity. Right? If you want to improve your productivity, which is the biggest problem in our energy sector, 50-55% productivity, you have to give them a better environment, which we created. And uh, Shakti Bhai will tell us that his productivity is 80-90% right now. Right? So that works. I'm not going to read it. In energy, we save 50%. 50 plus percent energy has been saved after our energy audit. Remember, I was talking about the cost of green. So if you save 50% energy after green, how much money it will cost us? to do for consultant and UGVC and all that. 10-15% will pay for it. And there's a month after month after month. Right? So it is possibilities. 25% is the minimum we can save any green building, any existing building, we can save 25%. Right? And with us, 360 Total Solution Limited, we literally do a preliminary assessment free. If someone say, please come and check our building, whether uh, how much we can save or what we can improve or how much it will cost us to go green, we do a preliminary assessment completely free. So that means for to know about it, it doesn't cost you anything. Okay. We save 49, 98, almost 50% water. Simple. We just use low flow fixtures. We use uh, rainwater harvesting and reuse harvested rainwater. Right? and come to these numbers. Rainwater, I will talk, talk about uh, even at the beginning I said, we use the reservoir under this landscape to keep the rainwater uh, use and reuse. So this is the window. See, I talked about any employee can see outside. That's the beauty. They can see. They don't feel confined. They don't feel like suffocated. Right? And fresh air is there as far as trade standard. Of course, we use renewable energy. We don't have that much room, but whatever we have available to us, we put 54 kilowatt of renewable energy, which is almost 35% plus of the total energy requirements of this project. We just don't do 3R. We do 8R with our material. 
uh, waste management. Rethink, refuse, reduce, reuse, refurbish, repair, re repair, repurpose, and recycle. Doing that, we figured we, we saved, remember the carbon footprint, we saved almost 80% of waste. Either it is recycling or doing something with it. We don't send it to landfill. <clears throat> the fresh air we introduced uh, with a HEPA filter. Sometimes I hear when people say, uh, if I want fresh air from outside, it's contaminated. No. If we bring fresh air from outside in, we'll use a filter. Either uh, a HEPA filter or MRB 13 filter. So the dust will not come in. You get the fresh air and CO2 level will be maintained. Right? Look at the rooftop. There's a skylight. There's a ventilation on the rooftop. And see from inside, without light you can work. Okay. We also introduced bicycle stand. We introduced uh, car parking for uh, electrical charging vehicles. We did all that. We also tried to become plastic free as much as possible. Right? If you go to the project, you'll see there's a reduction of plastic like here. In my office, you're not going to see one-time bottle. It's a arrow filtered water and glass. And you only can take as much you need. I'm not going to give you a full bottle. You drink a little bit and you leave it out and we throw it out. It's not going to happen. So same thing in, in SM sourcing we try to do. And this is the number, uh, detail is on the paper, that which area, how much we save and what technically we get point on, like, you know, uh, restoration, heat island effect, nightline pollution reduction. So we did everything that applicable to do this project as per lead standard and we got the maximum point okay and we implement all these plan policies to onward that means only certificate doesn't end our journey it's the beginning of the journey so we have to follow all this plan policy is adapted by the SM sourcing as per Bangladesh perspective it's not like some uh, plan policy I give it to them and they just sign it no we edit it. We make it our own. Right? And then go from there. Right? I'll give you examples. Uh, sustainable purchase policy. What is sustainable purchase policy? It's not a big deal. It's a very simple. That if you buy batteries, try to buy rechargeable batteries. So you don't throw it out after one use. You use four or five times, then throw it out. If you buy paper, find FEC certified paper if it's available. These are the simple, very simple thing. If you buy a computer, try to buy an energy efficient computer. Right? If you buy a printer, whatever you buy, just think you buy something which is sustainable. Like don't buy a bulb with mercury in it. It's not good for your health. Right? So these kind of things. The choice of the products. So this is the presentation. Uh, thank you.